Starbucks. Hmm. Curious. Excuse me. Do you operate this facility? Is this some sort of fuel depot? I don't even know what the locals use for stellar travel. Kind of smells like petroleum outside. Coffee? What's coffee? I see. So it's a sort of biofuel that you drink. Isn't that just nutrient paste with extra steps? Tastes good. What would this even mean? Like efficient good? What makes one taste better than another? Yes, I am not from around here. I am what you would call an alien. Now, give me some of this coffee. I've got to try it for myself. Interesting. Very interesting. So, essentially, this coffee is roasted berries, finely crushed, infused in hot water, then you filter all the actual berries out. It's bean juice. And you give this to people. This pastime is rewarding for you. Fine, fine. You're right. You don't fly to my planet and give me a hard time. Yes, I know it's going to be hot. I'll be careful. I... <gasps> you... You touched me. You did too. Your finger and mine, when you passed a cup to me, jumping Jupiter, that was your skin. I felt the warmth of it. No, it's not a contamination thing. It's, it's just not done. It's forbidden, unacceptable. What would people think if they saw us? Earthling, what's wrong with your culture? Never in all my days, and with a stranger no less, have I ever let anyone touch me? Never. No civilized species, no decent species would ever make physical contact. It's barbaric, unnecessary, and, and embarrassing. Is this some thing that is really not a big deal on your planet? That's madness. Manual child care, contract sports, holding hands, so shameless, so uninhibited. People just bumping into each other in the streets. And I think what might happen behind closed doors. Oh, oh nothing. Uh, I'm not doing anything. Just putting a bit on some real estate. The, um, the planet. <laughs> I might have to grab the whole solar system, actually. Underdeveloped planets aren't usually sold one by one. Well, yeah, it's for sale. It's pre-civilization, backwater, and with barely any radioactive materials. I figured I'd go camping for holiday. Your store was just the first thing I found on I got off my ship. And uh, now I've bought this place. <laughs> Why? Oh, well, you know. Call it charity. No one else will come and exploit the planet while I own it. And I'll get to extend my little camping trip and study your culture. This coffee stuff is weird. Like, really weird. It's not very filling, but I'll grant you that it's novel. Those round discs behind the counter, are they also consumable? I'll try one of those, too. Oh, wow. That's... That's amazing. I've never had anything like that. It does taste good. If there is such a thing. I don't really have a word for it. It's the opposite of coffee. It makes me feel all giddy when I eat it. It's calorie dense, but that's not what I like about it. How it tastes? What word would you use to describe that taste? Sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. And the coffee is unsweet. Anti-sweet, really. 
I don't know why, but I think that makes them go together well. I like this. All of this. You should be very proud of this place. You're as sweet as your food. I have a question. Is there, um, perhaps some way I could get you to agree to touch me again? Usually when asking for something difficult, we use fuel as a medium of exchange. I bought the solar system for 40 fuel rods. They're, um, compressed antimatter plasma. Most personal spaceships run on them these days. I can match that, pay you that much just to, you know, that thing you do. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? I don't want to go into detail. You figure it out. Just do what you do to a fellow Earthling. If, you know, they want it to be touched. I don't understand. I could pay you in something else if you like. Is touching someone just because they want it enough reason for you? Well, yeah. I guess getting to touch an alien is sort of a unique opportunity. Should we maybe sit at one of the tables? I... I want you to start whenever you're ready. I mean, that's, um... I was expecting you to sit on the other side. Our hips are practically touching already. A little too close for comfort, actually. But I guess when on Earth do as Earthlings do... <laughs> oh, heavens. Here we go. <sighs> That's so weird. Having your hand on top of mine. It's... Oh, my. Wow. You're holding my hand. It's so excessive. So reassuring. What do you call this? Oh, <laughs> holding hands. Duh. You earthlings are kind of literal sometimes, aren't you? I figured it would have some sort of fancy name like the Grasp of the Deepest Affinity. Don't look at me like that. It's too personal. Like you're looking at an x-ray of me. No, really. I swear, I've never done anything like this before. My conception consisted of mixing two test tubes together which was put into a vat. And when I emerged, robots took care of me in my nursery. And I enrolled in a school that mostly consisted of reading text on a screen, pushing buttons. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they send me broken machines to see if I can fix them with my hands. But I was a full citizen before I saw anybody. That was normal for me. There's almost always a layer between me and everyone else. A telecommunication, a window, something. It's very strange that you don't... Feelings... They're new to me. Feeling someone's warmth. The constant feedback and... They're too alive. I guess we're pretty different, all things considered. But does that matter to you? Right now, I think it's not that important. For anywhere in the galaxy we could be, we're... Right here. Nowhere else. Sitting. Together. Holding hands. I don't understand. What do you mean you wish you knew me better? What do you propose? A date? Explain. Oh, well. Well, I accept. I did say I wanted to take in the culture. I'll be back around sunset, when you've met your time quota with the Starbucks Corporation. I'm... I'm really looking forward to it. Especially if it leads to some more hand-holding. <laughs> the interdimensional net is never going to believe this planet exists. <laughs>